Russia has confirmed that United States President Donald Trump's personal lawyer reached out to them during the 2016 presidential campaign seeking help for a business project in Russia. President Vladimir Putin's spokesperson claimed that they received Cohen's email, which was sent to the press office general email address. Top United States officials claim that the recovery from Hurricane Harvey will take years. Acting Secretary of Homeland Security claimed that catastrophic flooding is expected to last for days. I also want to reinforce the President's message from our trip yesterday. We expect a many-year recovery in Texas, and the federal government is in this for the long haul. We will continue to support the people of Texas as long as it is necessary. Texas Governor Greg Abbott added 14 more countries to the federal disaster declaration, claiming that flooding in the southeast of the state could be a threat to life and property. He added that 24,000 National Guard troops, including 10,000 from outside the state, were being deployed in Texas in the wake of Tropical Storm Harvey. United Kingdom's ambassador to the United Nations said that the United Nations Security Council was looking to further tighten economic restraints on North Korea. This in the wake of its latest missile launch. United States Ambassador to the United Nations Forum on Disarmament urged that the international community should be concerned following the North Korea's missile test over Japan. He added that it has become clear that North Korea is not interested in a dialogue. And uh, we continue to call out uh, the, the North Korean regime when it continues to violate UN Security Council resolutions, when it undertakes provocative threats and actions against uh, the United States and its allies. And so this was an important day. Uh, and uh, it was also very clear to us, and I think to you all, uh, that uh, Pyongyang is not interested in having a dialogue. 19 people, including 15 identified as Turkish security officials, were indicted. This for attacking protesters in May 2017 during a United States visit by Turkish President Erdogan. The indictments charged the defendants with attacking peaceful demonstrators who had gathered on May 16 outside the home of the Turkish ambassador. After holding her first talks with Japan's Prime Minister as the start of an intensive three-day visit to the nation, United Kingdom's Prime Minister Theresa May boarded a bullet train with Shinzo Abe headed for Tokyo. It is the British leader's first visit to Japan since becoming Prime Minister in July 2016. At least two bodyguards belonging to MP Zahir Qadir have been killed in an attack on the MP's house in Jalalabad in Afghanistan. Reports suggest that the bodyguards were first shot and then a suicide bomber detonated his explosives outside Qadir's house. A second suicide bomber was gunned down by Qadir's bodyguards.